It was supposed to be a community conversation about anti-racism in Red Deer, but before the event could even begin, it turned violent. It's traumatic. All of us are traumatized. Keisha Daniels spent her summer in several small Alberta towns calling for racial equity. She was supposed to be a speaker Sunday. Her voice was silenced when the event was cancelled because of the violence. There was no way we could have a peaceful event with these with these people there um, assaulting people. Sunday's event follows a hit and run of an anti-racism protester in the nearby community of Pinoka. When the group held a news conference to talk about the attack, it was interrupted by counter protesters who berated group members drowning out their message. Many of the counter protesters are known far right figures. Some are known to spew racist rhetoric days before Sunday's scheduled event, a threat to the demonstrators. This is what is going to happen very soon. And if you come into my rural communities, I'm going to be this big guy in the white shirt. Ready? Watch what he does. Little slaps to the face. That's patriots kicking Antifa out of their towns. Daniel says the hate groups are becoming more emboldened. This was a peaceful event that these people crashed and the RCMP allowed the violence to happen. While RCMP were at Sunday's rally, Daniel says they did not keep the peace. One of our security uh, submitted and tried to press charges today uh, with the Red Deer RCMP and they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't press charges. Red Deer RCMP say no charges have been laid. Daniels and her son and other group members have received death threats. Most recently, this Calgary woman receiving a rape threat. While the hate groups might be getting louder, it won't stop Daniels and her group from fighting racism in central Alberta. They think they've won something, but they haven't because hate will never win. Future anti-racism events in central Alberta won't be made public. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.